Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and the reason we gathered here today because I wanted to give you some uh, Sonoff updates and uh, changes, software changes, new features, uh, product announcements and also some of the promotions that I usually do but I forget for December again. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things, uh, going to talk about the new products and then I'm going to go over to the deals that we have the usual deals for December. There is some special deals for Christmas as well, although I'm not really sure if you were uh, holding back any, um, you know, shopping for Christmas. Maybe it's a little bit too late for that, but we'll see. And also, um, I want to go through the NS Panel Pro updates and also the iHost updates because uh, I tend to do this from time to time and I think I've missed the last two firmware changes, at least for both of the systems. There are a few new features which are definitely worth going through and um, some of them probably I should really visit in separate videos as well because they are interesting new additions to the whole you know, ecosystem. So let's get started with the first uh, agenda, which is the new products. So recently I just released two videos. One is uh, this uh, new PIR sensor, which is the uh, SNZB03P. And what I said that it's going to be released on the 20th of December. Well, this, today is the 20th of December and actually it got released. So I have gone back to my video and I updated the link in the video description. So you can go to the product page and you can order it. And actually, if you're interested in the details, you can see that it is uh, selling for $11.90 at the moment. There are a couple of sales. Some of the sale um, or promotions that I'm going to talk about involves this uh, device as well. But um, yeah, so that's the new device which uh, was made available. And talking about the new devices, the other new device was uh, this one, which is the, I always forget the name, so SNZB04P. So this is the new window and door sensor, which I pretty like. And this was supposed to be released on today as well, so the 20th of December, but actually it is getting delayed. So there are apparently some structural issues, structural design changes that they need to do. So they are recalling, well, not really recalling, but uh, they are postponing the release of this product into 2024. We don't really have a date yet. I'm not really sure what is structural about it. Um, they mentioned that uh, the battery door has been reworked from the previous model, so it is much easier to change the battery and uh, it's less likely that the whole package getting scratched. So maybe there is something uh, something wrong here, or maybe this three amp head is uh, too small and uh, uh, the sensor is likely to fall from doors and windows. I'm not really sure, but... Um, yeah, so we have to wait for that, uh, although I quite like this device and it has a couple of extra features which I think is going to be useful. So I think it's definitely worth waiting for this. Um, probably the only other thing is just to keep in mind, which we discussed in the review videos, that these are using these really big, big fat batteries which are a bit more expensive. But then on the other hand, they should long last on these batteries than the older batteries. So maybe, you know, over time the cost is going to even out. Okay, next let me go over to the, well, the first set of promotions. The, this one is the Christmas promotions. So this new stuff, let me just uh, scroll down to the dates. It is valid until the 8th or 8th of January, so you still have about two weeks to go. And as you can see, there is, uh, uh, you buy three products, three son of products, you get a 15% discount. Uh, there is a reduced price on the iHost and the NS Panel Pro as well. Uh, well, that's only limited for uh, f a s a certain buyers. And there is free shipping on over or on orders over 80 uh, sorry 89 US but I think to be honest this there was always a promotion like this so that's not I wouldn't say that's uh, specific to the Christmas sale there are also some promotions on the next steel on products but um, we never really discussed them in this channel so I tend to ignore them it looks like there is a separate web page for this uh, Christmas sale item so you can see the ones that are well it's it's not the specific products that are on sale, but it's more like a bundles and uh, oh, they all included some nice graphs of how all these different devices are linked together. That's that's nice. That's new that I didn't see before. OK, and yeah, a couple of areas how you can do this. And then, yeah, you see the uh, the, the promotions here and the ones that are specific to the NS Panel Pro and the iHost. So I think that's good. You know, if you still want to do some, um, you know, purchasing uh, before the end of the year or 
going into the beginning of the next year, then this is something that you can consider as well. And also I have a few more additional promotions that are valid for December. So this was valid since the beginning of the December. And you can see there is always uh, you know, a lot of uh, promotions, especially for the new products. So I can see the S60 here, you know, Wi-Fi plug, while the NS Panel Pro and the, and the iHost is on, uh, on sale as well. I mean, here uh, it is also limited to the 200 pieces. So it's pretty much like the, um, the Christmas sale. So probably this has run out already and they basically renewed it as part of the Christmas sale and another you know 10 15 30 off based on how much you purchase uh, you know on the on these uh, devices so yeah a few more stuff if you want to save some bucks here and there if you want to buy any of these products usually in all my videos uh, that, where I do reviews or you know any other stuff which is related to either the iOS or the NS Panel Pro, I just leave uh, like affiliated links in the um, video description. So if you start navigating through those, then I get a little bit, a little bit money back from your purchases. And before we jump over to the device updates, I also want to mention that uh, I covered the you know the Evelyn cast and the Evelyn cast up in a couple of uh, videos in the past and there is always um, improvement in those two areas so I just quickly want to mention these because uh, here the changes are not so huge as uh, sort of like the new features that got introduced uh, when version 3.0 uh, was uh, deployed but it's more like improvement so always there was uh, you know some devices were not supported either in the cast or you know how they uh, they visualized of course new products came out so they had to be supported as well so as you can see these improvements are more like you know adding more device support adding more support for the various graphs and the visual visualizations and then now it's easier to customize your dashboards moving widgets around resizing certain widgets so certain devices support multiple size widgets as well and also the cast app um, has been enhanced so now you can see that you can also uh, view live uh, video feeds in the application as well and you can also do some of these resizing and changes through the application so you don't have to go back to the to the web application to do that and I assume that especially with the you know some of the new devices that are coming out there would be some more further updates in the coming months especially with these two new devices the new motion sensor and the uh, uh, the door sensor, those uh, would need to be supported with the extra features in the Cast uh, app as well. And now with this, I think it's time to go over to the new you know, feature updates. Uh, and first of all, I'm going to cover the NS Panel Pro, which is here. And as I go through these features, we are going to see that we have a lot of features which are not really visible, but sort of like, you know, happening under the hood. So I think I will be covering the updates since I think the last video I did was 1.11. And actually the next update was 2.0 and now we are at 2.3. So we had a couple of uh, minor upgrades in version 2, but of course the new well the big upgrade was actually moving into version 2 and uh, one of the sort of more underlying changes which I wanted to mention that the NS Panel Pro became a matter hub as well so not only that you can sync Zigbee devices or you can ass assign Zigbee devices to it but now you can assign matter devices so they support uh, switches and plugs and um, that just means that if you already have an NS Panel Pro, now you can use it as a matter hub. So you don't need a uh, Google or an Amazon or an Apple uh, border router. If you just have Sonoff devices, you can leverage, uh, you know, Meta devices as well. And it just makes the sort of the number of devices that you can use in the Sonoff system so much greater because uh, Meta is supported by so many different vendors. I have reviewed quite a few Meta compatible device, although I would say that I haven't really reviewed anything yet which uh, would not be available from a Sonoff range. I mean, you're still talking about bulbs and, you know, plugs and switches, um, but Again, there are more vendors. Maybe, you know, there is a design specific thing which is available in Matter, which is not available in Sonoff. So now you can pick that one as well because uh, you can pair it with the NS Panel Pro. 
So the next one is, which is actually is visible here, well at least visible in the menu, is now we have in the settings, we have a Bluetooth menu and actually you can connect Bluetooth devices to it. So you can use the, um, the audio features of the NS Panel Pro and you can redirect the sound to an external sound device. So, you know, it can display web pages, it has uh, audio features like chimes and doorbells that it can play and now that can be uh, routed through an external Bluetooth audio device as well. So if you're using that feature maybe it's it's a good thing that you can you know play it in a bigger speaker. And just like what I mentioned for the cast application most of the updates that we are seeing for these devices is uh, support for more additional devices that now can be controlled on the NS Panel Pro mostly because then when you go into the devices screen and then um, uh, so let me just scroll through so when you go into this uh, devices screen so for some devices they there was no sort of like screen control but those things are being added so for example now there is support for Philips Hue light so you can control brightness and everything through the screen and you can support it there is uh, you know in general support for more devices obviously these new devices that got released are having support I haven't reviewed the um, thermostatic radio valve uh, from Sonoff obviously that would need to get support for the NS Panel Pro so it can be controlled here there is more support for the thermostat function so on the thermostat when you know the temperature is reached uh, sends a signal to a device to turn on and off so that list of devices that it can control got uh, enhanced as well with some of the new you know Zigbee mini and um, you know mini products of course there are a few screen enhancements I actually feel it that it's more easy to switch between the various screens especially moving away from the thermostat screen was really difficult because I in most cases I ended up operating one of the buttons or changing the temperature but I think it's more sensitive to the gesture or it's better to understand that I am trying to do a swipe gesture instead of you know picking something on the screen so it's, it's definitely got easier the other thing which I found a little bit difficult always is just to get the you know from the settings but that seems to be a little bit easier of course you just have to keep in mind not to can we have some focus please so not to um, you know touch the screen with my other hand which I tend to do but again if it's mounted on a wall it's less likely to happen so these are the small uh, screen enhancements and there is one more thing for which I want to show you in the EVLink application. So if you, you know, you open up your NS Panel Pro and if you go to settings and uh, well, all of the things here are, you know, fairly typical. Actually, I think I did mention that now you can add uh, remote sub devices like the S Mate and the R5 to the um, NS Panel Pro because those are Bluetooth as well but then the new things are these pilot features so when you go into the pilot features you have the turbo mode which was available before I think I mentioned in a previous video so that just enhances the uh, the transmit power of the Zigbee radio built inside but now there is this additional option here which is a Zigbee mode and you can switch between the hub mode which is the default mode for the NS Panel Pro to the router mode that basically means well up until now let's say you have multiple NS Panel Pros around the house uh, then all of them acted as a Zigbee hub. So if you had multiple devices, you either assign them to one of the, I mean, ideally you would assign them to one of the NS Panel Pro, so they create a big mesh network, and then you cannot really use your other NS Panel Pros because they are all hubs and you really only need one hub in your house. Not to mention if you also have an iHost, then the iHost is a hub as well. And then again, you just had like, you know, one more device which acts as a hub where you only need one. So now you can turn the NS Panel Pro into a router which acts as an end device. So you won't be able to pair anything to this, but, uh, but then you pair it to the to the hub that you dedicate to be, uh, to be as a hub. So for example, if you have an iHost, the iHost can be a hub and all your NS Panel Pros can be, you know, routers. So again, they contribute to the mesh network. Or if you have multiple NS Panel Pros, you dedicate one of them as a hub and all the others, you can turn them as routers. So this is a really nice feature. The only thing you have to be aware of that whenever you are switching between these two modes, then uh, the devices that are paired to the ones that you are turning from hub to router 
will get uh, deleted and you have to repair them again. But um, I mean, I think that's normal because, well, he's not the hub anymore. So that's, uh, that's actually a very good feature. I think it was mentioned a lot previously. I've seen it in the forum. Then, you know, if, if I buy multiple NS Panel Pros, which you might do because it's like a room controller. So you have one in every room or at least one in a, in a few rooms, then you just want to use the, uh, uh, the Zigbee radios that are built into it to make a really strong mesh the Zigbee network. So these were the main features that I wanted to highlight from the NS Panel Pro upgrades. There are probably a few, uh, you know, smaller ones, but um, uh, these are the ones which I thought they are important and useful. And let's go through the changes of the iHost as well. Again, here we have, I think we have uh, jumped at least two versions because at the moment version 1.12 is available and my last video was around 1.10 or 1.9. I have definitely seen that I think either for 10 or 11, a lot of people reported uh, stability issues, like they lost uh, devices, or not lost devices, but uh, devices became in uh, response or they appeared offline. So it, I think it's definitely uh, worth to upgrade to the newest version, which is 1.12 uh, at the moment. And just like with the NS Panel Pro and the, and the CAS, there is a lot of support for additional devices that were not available at the moment. So you can just, uh, you know, control more devices, more Wi-Fi devices. So there is more stuff on, you know, how they appear when you select them on the um, on your main panel. I don't think I have anything which was not working before. I don't have too many of these exotic devices, but uh, that's always good if you have just one or two which are not uh, appearing at the right host for one reason or the other, but now they should be supported. As I mentioned for the NS Panel Pro, Matter has also arrived to the iHost as well, but it is in a slightly different role. Because if you look at the, last, uh, the left menu, now you have a new option here, it says Matter. And this actually creates what well, makes this uh, iHost as a, as a Matter, Matter bridge uh, for EVLink devices. So this is a very similar function to what I have uh, uh, mentioned when I reviewed the Zemi Smart M1 hub, which can share the Zigbee devices to a matter enabled platform. So if you have linked Zigbee devices to that uh, matter hub, or sorry, or to that um, Zemi Smart hub, and then you link that into Google, Alexa, or Amazon, those Zigbee devices would appear using this matter bridge functionality. And the similar things happens uh, here as well. So you have uh, various son of devices that could be either uh, connected directly to the iHost uh, using Zigbee or could be Wi-Fi devices that you imported into iHost using the EV-Link integration. And now those devices can be shared over, let's say, a Google, Amazon, Alexa locally using this matter integration, and they will appear as new devices over there. I mean, you could do similar things in the past. So like uh, with, the, with, the, uh, home, with Homebridge, you could do it with, uh, with Apple. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything uh, similar to Google or Amazon, maybe that was, but now you can use the matter because that's the new, you know, um, standard. Of course, as you can see, well, not everything is going to be supported. So if you, uh, if you look at this one, so matter really only supports now, as I understand, like, you know, plugs and switches and lights. So you can see here what are the devices that are supported at the moment. So not just son of devices, but let's say if your iHost is managing like a Hue lights or an IKEA light bulb, those would be you know possible to share over this Matter network. But um, yeah, not everything at the moment. So you can see that uh, what are the various devices that are supported. So it's mostly plugs and switches and lights. Uh, Whereas with the Zemi Smart, we could see only also sensors that are uh, synced, but maybe it's a different technology. It just make it you know so seamless and user friendly that you don't really have to understand the underlying thing. But what is um, you know relevant for iOS and Sonoff uh, that these are the ones that are supported at the moment, and of course we would expect more device support to appear in the next coming month uh, for this feature. But that's again, it's a nice thing that you can leverage at home, uh, especially with the iHost. Uh, if you want to just use your iHost as a 
sort of like a background device to manage your automations, but then you would use the application of one of the big threes to actually you know, control the device, turn your lights on and off, and you don't have to use either evening application or anything else uh, you know, for this. So it is now available with a limited list of devices and most probably are going to be enhanced in the future. And since we are talking about devices and what devices can be controlled, in the pilot features, just like for the NS Panel Pro, you can link uh, EVLink control devices, remote control devices like SMATES and R3s directly to the iHost, so that's available. And you can also add Bluetooth devices, to, so very similar to how it worked for the NS Panel Pro. If you happen to use the audio features, for example, the alarms, uh, the uh, doorbell chimes or, uh, or these things uh, on the NS uh, on the iHost, you could enhance the audio by connecting a Bluetooth speaker to it, and it would you know sound through those uh, Bluetooth speakers. And of course, besides these and also the new device supports in general, there are some new supports to add uh, uh, the uh, security uh, to. Uh, the triggers and the actions. So now if you select smart devices and if you select the iHost, then you can see that uh, you can create a scene if the security mode is changed, but you can also use a scene to change the security mode. So again, if you scro scroll down to your iHost, well, I can't see the iHost because I think you can't use the same device on the trigger and the um, on the action at the same time, but now you can see that you can change the security mode as well. So again, you can combine this functionality with some of the uh, additional things that are happening around the house. And this th type of feature was already available in the NS Panel Pro that you could use you know, scenes to control the, uh, the alarm function, but now it is available in the iHost as well. So I think that's good. And there has been a lot of updates, sort of like bug fixes to existing device supports, especially third-party devices like Okara sensors and IKEA lamps. So those could be uh, could work better as well. And of course, one of the other things which I also mentioned in my other video is that now I can create these virtual sensors, uh, which are temperature only or humidity only. So if I have um, uh, okay, that wouldn't be a trigger, sorry, that wouldn't be a um, action, but it would be a trigger. So I have, for example, a feels like temperature, which is temperature only, so it doesn't have humidity. And I was not able to create um, a trigger based on these type of devices before, but now I can. And I have a completely separate video of how you can create these virtual sensors based on weather forecast that you get from the internet. And of course, these new features require some UI changes as well. So you can see that we have some additional features here. I mean, the main ones are the room, the scene, the security, the cast, the dockers are still the same. The docker got a little bit revamped as well. So now we get icons and, the, uh, and you have separate um, tabs here for the dockers that you have installed. So minor changes. Obviously, the new functions, the matter and the pilot features got a separate option here but then yeah the settings it looks pretty much the same I don't think a lot has been added to the settings here but that's fine so I think these are the updates that I wanted to share about uh, new products product releases uh, uh, changes and enhancements to the cast the NS Panel Pro and the iHost but I think that will be all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video